I got this 123 launch, or also known as the X431 based OBD systems recently, and I'm pretty impressed with it. True Android tablet. While it doesn't have the form factor of a tablet, it is still nice and small. You know, just a power button, your OBD port, and then a single barrel jack that goes to USB for charging. But it, it's a fairly rugged case, and I like the simplicity of it. For being Android, it really feels more like a set appliance instead of some sort of pad or something where you have to worry about a bunch of other things getting on it. That being said, I've had this for about two weeks now, and even then, from when I did the initial updates, I've actually had three additional updates come out. And unlike a lot of the more complicated scan tools out here, there is no subscription that's required for this. You will always get those updates included in the initial cost. It also does have Wi-Fi built into it, so you don't have to sync it to a computer or anything like that. One thing that is worth pointing out is on this 123, it actually has what appears to be all the additional functions of the 129 available for additional purchase if you wanted to. However, the price on those would be slightly inflated versus buying the 129 up front. If you do come across a particular issue where you want that bi-directional control, you can actually go and purchase these for that. Now that being said, the X431 in platform is fully bi-directional. Getting that 139 is still not a full bi-directional scan tool. It just has some functions such as, you know, these different resets and whatnot, but it's not like you can toggle values bi-directional scan tools can. That being said, there's a lot of power to this thing. You can really get a lot of data out of this thing. In addition to some of the other features like walking you through auto detect or whatnot, it's also worth pointing out that it does have a decent amount of knowledge built into this. Archive things or collect records, you actually do get a decent amount of ability on here. The one thing I would point out is there is no additional memory card slot. And when you look at the memory usage on this, this being almost new, just having gone to most of the updates, it is only giving you about nine gigs of space to store which is probably sufficient, but something to be aware of. One thing that I should point out right away too is it does have that screen capture, which is very nice for taking actual screenshots of this display. And by holding the power button for a few seconds, you can actually get into the bootloader and you can see that this is full Android system. Another thing that's pretty nice is this comes with a smaller pouch instead of those large blow mold cases like the Altels do. And in my mind, this is a lot easier to fit into a small toolbox than having to have, you know, some large plastic case. I also like that this is just a wired OBD connector. You don't have to worry about leaving the dongle anywhere, which will happen eventually if you're not careful. And it also allows you a separate way to power the device besides charging it when you need to. So in a modern CAN bus vehicle now, we'll go to auto detect. That took what, about eight seconds? Hold up the vehicle. And you can see that it actually interrogated the vehicle versus tried to look up the VIN. That especially becomes problematic with older vehicles that are not CAN bus because they don't always report the VIN. And just like that, it's going to pull up a basic diagnosis. You think if there's any DTCs present. Notice that it is doing one for the transmission, um, which a lot of people overlook. Now, stepping back out of that report, you do have the much more in-depth systems here so we can actually go in and read the data stream you can see there's a ton of PIDs available here uh, let's look at the EGR let's look at the oil temperature and the run time and you can see that we do get live values there and this was from a cold start so the vehicle's not warmed up fully yet and clicking on those charts you can then see a live graph. So that's our live data there. You can also do something like this combine to be able to select multiples. See those real time and you can see that the polling frequency is very fast on this because again it's really based off the X431 back end.
just for fun, let's turn a bunch of them on. Okay, so it looks like it maxes at four data stream. You can see here the real-time data in between those four. One thing I'll point out is on some other scan tools, it's very hard to read the actual data, not necessarily just the title of the individual points, but to see the actual live value. It's nice to see you can actually read that temperature reading and not have to try and get it off the graph. Another thing we can do is just see if there's any fault codes. I don't believe there are on this one at the moment, but yep, no DTCs. And this will show the underlining thing. One thing that's nice to point out here is it does show your readiness both in this mode, but also if you step back out in the main menu. On the readiness, and what I like about that is on some tools you have to completely step out like this in order to get to those, where on this you can actually see it right in there. And as expected, this vehicle is just fine. Well, there you have it. I think this is a very good value. You'll save a little bit of money by not having to buy all those mall upgrades later on. But if you just kind of want something that's base price, what I'm going to do with this is keep it in vehicle for like my mobile tools. And that way, if I do need to do something like the more complicated stuff, I can switch to a different scan tool. And I guess if I'm in a pinch, I can spend a little bit of money and, you know, do some of those resets. You know, for the overall price of this being well under $200, I think it's an excellent value. The Alltel one that I have, I think it's in the MX series. It's at least four, if not 500 most of the time relatively functionally the same other than having a few of those unlocked features like the 129 included. I could definitely recommend this if you are kind of on the value side of things. Anything in the $1 to $200 price range, this is by far in my mind the best option out there. So hopefully this helps you out.